Welcome to PC Mac. In today's video, we will go ahead and continue our CASA OS series. For today's video, we are going to try transmission and try to install it on our Raspberry Pi and check how it will work. I'll share you the installation method and after that, I'll show you the download process, how it start downloading, like how it will fetch the file and start downloading the files in it and the storage location and everything. So let's do it. First of all, we need to open the CASA OS. So my CASA OS is on uh, the IP2. You can always go ahead and use uh, this software. The name of the software is Fing, Fing.com. You can install it on your phone. It will scan your network and show you all the devices connected to your router. You can try this app on your mobile phone. It's available on desktop and the Fing app is right here. You can go ahead and check it out on Google Play Store and Apple Store and it will look like this. Let's move for the transmission setup. Uh, the setup is quite easy and simple. Just go to the App Store, move down. Transmission is right here. Let's just go ahead and install it. Once we click on install, it will give us the username and the password. Casa OS is the username and the same is the password. So let's click on OK. And it says protocol must be TCP. Uh, let me just show you one more time. Okay, it's right here. Protocol must be TCP or UDP or both. What we need to do is just we already select this, click on custom install, and from here it will take all the information. Let me just show you on the top. Here is the icon transmission app name is transmission, and here is uh, the port number 9090. Sorry. Uh, 9091 and now we can just go ahead and select TCP plus UDP TCP plus UDP and for the last one the host is also TCP plus UDP once it's done we just need to click on install before doing that let's just check the volumes here are the volumes so the downloads will be available in downloads and the watch section is right here and the config files will be saved here in app data now let's just go ahead and click on install and wait for the installation to complete I'll fast forward the video and we'll start it again once it's complete. Transmission is installed now and the CPU is on 4%, 2%. That means everything is settled down. So let's just go ahead and click on transmission. Here it will ask for the ID and the password. So we know the ID and the password. It's CASA OS and remember then just log in now we are logged in what we can do now we can just go ahead and add the torrent i have already downloaded a torrent file so let's click on it and choose the file from here if you have a torrent url you can just put it here let's just uh, select the file so i have yeah here is the file linux mint click on upload and it's done let's click on ok and once we click on ok you can see it's checking and now it's downloading let's click on here and see what's the speed and everything it's on zero percent and remaining time is infinity so it started 48 minute 31 second uh, for checking one more time what i can do i can add one more file i think i have one more it's not here so it's downloading uh, let's just check elementary os one of my favorite let's just try to download this one so let's put o download and copy the link so we'll try the second method add torrent and then on the url paste so the url is right here the magnet url and then press ok once we do that again it's in queue queue finish it's here let's check the warning okay so warning gone start downloading and it started it's also on infinity it says 10 minute 57 seconds so that means it's working absolutely fine now what we can do is just select this one and delete delete local data okay so this is done and uh, this one is paused i don't know why let's just click on it and start it again Let's just go back to downloads. The time remaining is 49 minute 29 second. 
so there seems to a problem with that particular file itself now let's try to download the file uh, through raspberry pi.com and from the software section we can go ahead and uh, see all download options and raspberry pi os and here is the download torrent so the torrent is downloaded now let's try to add so this one is added and checking and let's start downloading it's in the downloading folder so we are getting the error message because of the space on the drive so let's just move to this files go to downloads and let's see where is the data so here is the data let's select okay and delete are you sure this is done let's see the complete no data is here now let's move back and now we have some space here so let's just go back here go to error and start it again let's go to download and wait for the download to start in case you are also facing the same problem you can check whether you have the necessary space or not and it started 1 hour 41 minute 11 seconds and let's try one more time the elementary os let's see whether it's able to download the file or not if it's not able to download that means there is some problem with the file itself so the top one is start downloading and it's 2.89 percent downloaded and data is checked elementary os stable iso so both the torrents are working fine uh, okay they are slow and steady and i think they will be downloaded so i don't want these os so let me just go ahead and delete it delete local data okay it's done so this is it for today and uh, this is the way how you can use the transmission so it's move back to the 7 gb mark and that means the data is also deleted from our raspberry pi you can also try this transmission setup in your house and check whether it's able to download the files or not there are some restrictions on my internet as well because of that i'm not able to download the movies and every other stuff so you can try it on your setup and share your feedback in the comment section if you have any problem i'll try to answer your queries so uh, that's it for today if you like my work please hit the like button subscribe to my channel and press the bell notification for my latest video if you want you can share this video with your family and friends they have raspberry pi laying around and doing nothing so they can also try to set up this case os and make the raspberry pi productive thanks for watching bye bye take care have a nice day